Hello, so this is the next bit now. We're getting towards the end of the first lesson. So I've done a lot of waffling, but it's to try and get it in, kind of like make it easier for you by talking through it nice and slow. Um, but let's have a look at this one then. So I've got to do some completing the square on this. <gasps> it's got a third in it, we cannot possibly do it. Right, so I want a half of the minus 4 root 3. So that bit x minus, so it's going to be 2 root 3. All squared. Take away square in it, so the square by 2 root 3, all squared. It's 2 squared is 4, root 3 squared is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to do 12, take a 12 off it, and add on my 9. Yeah. So I've got x minus 2 root 3, all squared minus 3. Yeah. So then it says write down the least value taken by this function. So if you were to graph this, We'd have a graph which looks something like that, where the vertex is 2 root 3, comma minus 3. So the least value taken is its minimum function. So part of V, what it wants is its minimum value. And that is y is minus 3. This part here. That's the minimum value of it. There. Right, let's keep going. So then it says, solve, solve, solve some equations. If you look there, there's some questions. Questions tend to be in the end of a lesson. So at home, you'd do the vids, you'd come into lesson, you'd show me that you did the vids, and then I would do a recap to make sure you're okay with it, so you're getting twice as much learning for the same bit. And then we would practice, and you'd practice knowing that I'm there to help you, and the other people in the class are there to help you. Right, let's have a look. So solve equations by completing the square. Uh, so if I do x plus 4 squared minus 16 plus 10 equals 0, so x plus 4 squared minus 6 is 0. Now people forget about this. The whole quadratic formula comes from completing the square. That x equals minus b plus or minus all that malarkey. It comes from completing the square. So if I just rearrange this, I'd have an x plus 4 squared is 6. Square root 6, x plus 4 is plus or minus root 6. And then get rid of the plus 4. There you go. I've got minus 4 plus or minus root 6. And it looks like something I get out of the quadratic formula. So there's a question for you to have a go at. So you have to take out the 2 first. And then rearrange it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've taken out the 2. And then they've taken the 1 over, taken the 2 over. Do you follow the math spring? They've sorted this bit here. And we're off and running. And we've got some questions to add up a lot there. There we go. And that's the end of the first lesson. Well done.